welcome to Pigeon Devil News TV. My name is Tato Skone and we are still continuing with Dr. Pete Fanzail with the Hell Talk. Um, he's sharing with us with, uh, about all the pigeon challenges and all the diseases that might harm our birds and lower the performances. Stay tuned for all the informative information that he has to offer. Good day. I'm Dr. Pete Fanzail and we're having the fourth episode today. Today I would like to say something about the most important bacterial disease in South Africa. Salmonella in pigeons, or as it's more commonly known, paratyphoid, is a disease that mostly affects young birds. It is one of the diseases that we battle to control. Rats and mice are mostly blamed for transmitting the disease in lofts. Actually, that is not a fact. Carrier pigeons, and especially asymptomatic pigeons, is your main source of infection in any loft and in the racing baskets. The disease are caused by a specific bacteria Salmonella, Typhimurium, Copenhagen, and there's two strains of the disease. Not all the other Salmonellas that we normally find in pigeons, they do not cause a disease. Symptomatic carriers are mostly created by us with inefficient treatment or no treatment at all. Salmonella is a complex disease because it is a co-infection and it works with a lot of other organisms. Coccidiosis always leads to salmonella infections. Uh, other infections of the gut can also trigger an outbreak of salmonellosis in your loft. Any inflammation in the gut of the pigeons will trigger an infection with salmonella because salmonella is we can take it that it would always be present in the pigeons sometimes we damage the interior uh, mucosal health of the pigeon gut by giving all kinds of irritant disinfectants and things to pigeons that might also trigger an infection uh, f with salmonella what is the problem that we are losing the war against Salmonella? <clears throat> Main thing in my opinion, Salmonella is a bacteria that can form biofilms. A biofilm is a protective layer that the bacteria creates around itself. And it's impregnable. You can't kill it with uh, weak acids or weak disinfectants. It's totally protective inside this biofilm. And the biofilms can form in your drinkers, can form in the crop, it can form in the gut of the bacteria. Once you've formed a biofilm, no acid can penetrate it. No heat that's tolerable to the pigeon will kill it. Very few antibiotics will be able to penetrate a biofilm. And What's more, it can withstand heat then. If you've got biofilms in your drinkers, it's no use washing it with 60 degree water and soap. You will not remove the biofilm from there. And the bacteria will go into a state where we call it uh, viable, but not culturable. So it waits for better circumstances and then it will grow again. So it's very important to remove the biofilms from your drinkers and there's specific uh, products that's uh, better than others and disinfectants alone is not enough. You must remove the biofilms if you've had an infection. What does Salmonella in pigeons look like? Salmonella in pigeons mostly affect young birds and there we see a typical green watery diarrhea 
It's green because it affects the liver and it damages the liver and the kidneys and internally also the lungs. Then the second most common symptom is uh, nervous symptoms where the pigeons turn their necks very similar to paramexo but they they can recover from this but they are permanently damaged mostly you, uh, how do we uh, see uh, salmonella in adult pigeons in adult pigeons the symptoms are mostly a lame wing or a lame leg or a lame uh, uh, neck you see this uh, pigeon and we call it muscle and wing and we call it a lot of uh, names but actually the uh, symptoms in, in adult pigeons are mostly in the uh, joints and they survive quite well with it they don't die from it like the young birds why do we get salmonella in pigeons the most in my opinion the most important preventative thing is mycotoxins molds that grow on your food will create a poison called don d-o-n don and if you've got don mycotoxin on your food and it's it's prevalent it's not just uh, here and there that we see it your pigeons will get salmonella cause their gut and their liver and the immune system will be affected by this mycotoxins. That's why we uh, advocate a, a system where we use a product. There's a lot of products on the market and a lot of good products on the market. We use Vitatox. This is a German formulated combination product. And we add one packet of this to a thousand kilograms of food. This got a mycotoxin binder in it. The mycotoxin binder will remove 90% of all mycotoxins in your food. It will also stimulate your liver. There's a liver protector or a, or a liver uh, optimizer in here as well. And it's got two immune boosters to protect the inside of the gut or what we call the mucosal immunity of your gut so you, you with one product you prevent the mycotoxins from damaging your birds you improve liver health and you look after the gut uh, health of your pigeons we put it on all the food year round 365 days it's not a cost factor salmonella can be transmitted by the hen through the egg it's trans ovarial so basically the hen is infected and when she lays the egg the bacteria is already inside of the egg sometimes these eggs are blue and they don't hatch but sometimes in 50 percent of the cases they do hatch but that pigeon is already infected when it comes out of the egg and so you'll have a lifelong carrier if he doesn't die before that because it, it is a bit damaged but you you won't breed healthy uh, squabs from uh, infected hens that makes it absolutely important to treat your breeding stock before you make them it's no use putting sick birds in there or carriers and then breeding sick birds and you infect your whole lot clean the, the breeding pigeons uh, out with a decent antibiotic treatment uh, before we, we uh, mate them. What else can we do to prevent salmonellosis in our birds? In chickens we can create a clean flock and it, it, it might be feasible in breeding uh, lofts but if you put pigeons in a basket to raise them they will pick up salmonella from the feces of the other birds in the basket and they will bring it home and you uh, will get infection throughout the racing season vaccines i'm not a fan of the uh, salmonella vaccines because i haven't seen decent literature that proves it there is a live modified vaccine in process 
And that might be a different thing, but I haven't seen enough data on it to recommend it. In South Africa, 50% of the fanciers swear by a vaccine and 50% blames it for their bad performance. So it's a difficult thing to either promote or don't promote. That's why we don't have a vaccine at this stage. What else can we do to prevent our birds from becoming infected? We've got a product with essential oils. That's plant essential oils and it's been proven it's not a, a, a wish it's been proven that essential oils do suppress salmonella and coccidiosis uh, this product that we've got promovet we give it three or four times a week spray on the food or in the water it's got five essential oils in it it's got about six plant extracts in it. It's got liver protectors in it. And this promotes gut health by changing the bacteria in the gut. Uh, more than probiotics are doing, we use this product to keep the gut healthy. This is a, a, a wonderful product to promote gut health. And if your pigeon's got a healthy gut, uh, it's almost certain that they'll be better protected. Of course, 70% of the immune system is actually in the gut, not in the glands and the uh, other parts of the pigeon. It's in the gut. So look after the gut and your pigeon uh, won't get it. Earlier I mentioned that salmonella is a co-infection in most circumstances. If you do have coccidiosis in your loft or your pigeons is infected with coccidia, it will create inflammation in the gut and it will lead to uh, infection with salmonella. There is a direct link between coccidia and salmonella. It, that's why young birds get it more often than the older birds. How do we treat salmonellosis? It's one of the difficult things because certain antibiotics that's popular create carriers. You can't clean the bird up. What will happen if you treat with certain types of antibiotics? You will create a carrier pigeon that will infect your loft for always. And it will stay healthy more or less. Uh, but it, it's, it's a difficult thing. The older style antibiotics does not work against salmonella anymore. We've got a resistance problem with salmonella. The bacteria build up resistance to most of the antibiotics. And what's more, it shares this uh, knowledge about how to overcome the antibiotics with other bacteria as well. So that's why we're trying to move away from all older type antibiotics and rather use essential oil combinations and gut health. But sometimes we do have to treat pigeons for salmonella. And my approach here is to use newer generation antibiotics, combine them, shorter time of treatment and at higher dosages. We call it mutant preventative dosage and I think it's, it's more or less been proven that we can uh, manage the disease with this. Can we eradicate salmonella in pigeons? The day that when we've got a, a decent vaccine, we can probably test all the birds and kill the ones that's carriers and it's got the salmonella. I don't think it's going to happen in pigeons because there's too much or too many valuable pigeons that will be carriers and we can manage it by using, not abusing the antibiotics and look after the immunity of the birds. Thank you. And there you have it from Dr. Van Zeyl. Always keep your pigeons healthy all the time with the breakaway products. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share our TV channel. My name is Tato Skonendas as Pigeon. Take my news.